Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Motorcycle Live 2021 and I'm here at the Aerial stand. So if you haven't heard of Aerial, they're known for a couple of things. So they made bikes back in the day. More recently, they're also known for their Aerial Atom car, which is what's just behind me. But they do have a couple of Aerial Ace bikes on here. Two versions with two different front ends. So I'll give you a quick look around and see what you think. So this is the first of the Aerial Ace bikes that I want to show you. So this one is a little bit more conventional than the other one. And by that, I mean it's got a conventional fork on the front end. But you just look at the engineering that's on here. I think it's based around uh, a Honda 1300 V4 that's been quite heavily tuned. I think it's about 175 brake. But you just have a look at the engineering that's on this. It's got that lovely Olin suspension. Uh, that exhaust there really is just a work of art. And everything from the pegs to the pedals to that seat, you know, even even the number plate holder at the back there really is a sight to behold. You know, someone has put some real, some real thought and love into milling that, that piece of the bike. Yeah, I, I, I just love them. I mean, I think this one is actually for sale. It's about 25,000 pounds, so it's not for everyone, including me. But I think they do just look, they look brilliant. So I'll just give you a close look over the tank and at the dash. And then I'll go and show you the other Ace they have on the stand, which really is something special. So this is the other Aerial Ace they have here on the stand. And this one has got, does not have the conventional front end. Instead, it's got this amazing girder fork with an Olin shock in it. I'll just go, you have a really close, close up look at that. And yeah, that is, that is kind of cool. Uh, if I just come around and you can see what that's like. I mean, it's certainly gonna turn heads whenever you go. I've no idea what it's actually like to ride because uh, I've never had the pleasure. But just to look at everything on this bike is just, it really is just a work of art. You know, even down to that quite incredible carbon fiber rear mudguard. You know, it's, yeah, I just think they're brilliant. You know, it's got a windscreen on, so you can use it for touring. Uh-huh, if that's your thing. Uh, but yeah, just really, really nicely engineered bikes. You know, they, 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 they don't come for cheap and they're definitely not mass market. Um, but yeah, in terms of the engineering and the quality of the components that are on it, that carbon fiber wheel is a work of art. And yes, I'm a bit of a geek uh, for liking these sorts of things. But you know what, if you like motorbikes and you like things like this that really are excellently put together, then these aerial ace bikes really are something else. So I can't get particularly close to them, but I'll just do a quick wander down the aerial uh, vintage bikes they have here. First one is this 1961 aerial arrow, and then we have a HT5 from 1957, it's a 500cc single. And then coming along a little bit further, we have an Aerial Wing 350 from uh, 1942, which, uh, loving that sprung seat, the fact that that's still there, I wonder if that is original. And then just two more, we have the Aerial Square 4 from 1934, 24 brake horse horsepower from a 597cc engine. And then the very one at the end, which definitely looks a bit more like a bicycle than a motorcycle, is an aerial two and a half horsepower from 1904. So that's it, that's my very quick look around the aerial stand here at Motorcycle Live 2021. I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from the show and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.